Hi, I'm Madison Samoro. I'm the queen of the North Texas Rodeo Foundation, and I'm here with Robin today. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hear that you're an airborne general. Can I you tell am. me that about that? I did. I jumped out of airplanes about 20 years of my 32-year wow. career and uh, have 155 airborne jumps. Wow. A lot of them at night because my eyes were closed. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good a good experience, especially mm -hmm. as a woman. There weren't many women jumping out of airplanes yeah. when I went in the military. Still aren't a lot of women, but there's still quite a few that um, jump and do very good in the military just because of their positive attitude. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me about how you got into doing that. Oh, gosh. Well, I went to ROTC mm -hmm. in Tennessee. And I got hooked on being a, you know, challenged at everything. I wanted to be challenged at everything. So a friend of mine went to airborne school in his summer year uh, between sophomore and junior year. Mm -hmm. And he had these big wings on. And I said, I got to wear that. I got to be, I got to be one of those too. So, so I did. I went to uh, airborne school. Um, it was pretty challenging. But uh, it, was, it was fun. The day I graduated college, 19 March, 1982, I'll never forget you weren't even born yet, no. but um, I, went, I went straight from college mm -hmm. to airborne school wow. and actually got a speeding ticket en route because <laughs> I was going too fast to get there, <laughs> but it was fun. It was good. It was a great experience, three years of tough love and uh, responsibilities. I was a lieutenant. Most of the people in the, in the course were enlisted soldiers, so they made me full leadership positions before I even knew what that meant. But it was good, it was fun. And then I went off to be a parachute rigger, which is yeah. the people that packed the parachutes, mm -hmm. and did that most of my military career. It was, it was, a, it was pretty, summing up pretty good, it was fun. It's amazing. Yeah, it was fun. Have you ever been to a sky well before? Oh, this is my se seventh one. Wow. It's great. Yeah. What is your favorite memory at a sky well? Uh, you're hard to, I guess seeing all the, hearing all the testimonies mm -hmm. of people that have served and what they went through and some of their hardships and a lot of them have lost limbs or, you know, um, been challenged after they got out of the military because of their wartime experiences. So I love Skyball. I'm set on the board of the foundation. So it's a great opportunity to bring new people so they can experience um, only 1% of 1% women have ever served in the military. Yeah. So I bring a lot of people that I know couldn't serve or didn't serve, like mm -hmm. at my table tonight. Um, it's gonna be me and my husband, he's also a retired military, and my brother-in-law, who's a retired military colonel, and my, my sister-in-law, and then the rest are civilians. They never had anything to do with the military. So it's gonna be good. I told them to all bring Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> What is your role on the Air Power Foundation? I sit on the board. I'm kind of like the military person. I'm mm -hmm. the only one on the board that's from the, had been in the military. Okay. So I just kind of advise and assist the, the whole board team. And um, as we throw this stuff together, you know, what the protocols are for a lot of the military folks coming. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you. Thank, and thank you. you so much for being here today. Yeah.